It's time to recap some events and talk about the future, what's coming up next here on the Cash Compound Podcast. Welcome, ladies and gents. Jay Do here. I'm Jonah. And we are chatting about some of the current events going on fall 2024 around here. We've been out of the office a little bit. Jonah, you're headed out of the office again, aren't you? I am. I am. There's a lot of traveling around this time of the year, actually. Um, and we actually traditionally, last two or three years, have a lot of events around this time of the year also. Well, we're a little bit short on the ability to speak in front of you and your guests right now. We've been traveling to some company-wide and industry-wide things. So if you have something you want us to come to to speak to your community, and teach them the save and spend system or walk through the how-tos or best practices now that you've gotten started with this idea of IBC, we're ready for you. Hit us up. Let us know where you are. We're coming to you very soon. Yeah. So one of the events that we recently just got back from was uh, not an event put on by one of you or uh, a guest speaker or getting a group together, uh, group together to talk about... Um, finance, talk about real estate, talk about all the other things that you might want to put your group together to talk about. But one of the events that we recently did was uh, an insurance company specific event that uh, we've been going to for a long time, maybe 2019 or something. No, I really think the first one was, yeah, 2018, potentially. Okay. And uh, a couple years off for COVID. Yep. So don't know how many there have been, but we haven't missed. Yeah, I don't think we have. We haven't missed. So this I company... Can figure out how long it is. I'm let's gonna, go. I'm going to search it. But. Let's figure it out. So this company is a company, a, a carrier that you might say, a carrier that we utilize. Carrier is kind of the industry term for who carries the risk. Remember, when we're talking about utilizing insurance for our financial security in the future, we are talking about some third party taking on the risk. So that's why they use carrier sometimes insurance company this particular company one of our favorites not just because of their product line their portfolio and their pr uh, prophecy of the future i'm trying to go three p's I don't, I don't know that's not my strong suit okay would be the people the people so this company is called one america financial and we write lots of policies from there i own five policies myself from this company very good do you know how many you own from no, this company? I think maybe six, but maybe five. Why are you always trying to get by me? I don't. I me? don't remember. I don't. Uh, I didn't pay attention to how many are over there. I think it's five. Well, I always say five, so maybe I should count them up. But uh, we own several policies as a business as well. But I'm talking about on family members. So uh, shout out to our friends in Indianapolis uh, up there, Indianapolis, Indiana. We end up there once, twice, three times a lady per year, going to different events. You do some other fun events in that town. I do. I I've, we've gone to basketball games. We've gone to see the Pacers play in that town. And we got lots of people talking about those great products. So this year's event was actually heavily attended and um, keynoted by people who are like us, independent brokerages that help teach and preach financial education virtually and in person to the masses. That's right. And so it actually was less heavy on the product and on the pro pr pr prophecy of the future from in the insurance company. And we got to hear from our peers. There's another P word. So here's the question, Jonah. Who stood out to you the most in the peerage group? Peerage, I think that means something different. But I'm not sure. But yeah, there was a gentleman uh, who <laughs> spoke. I don't remember exactly where he's from. But his name was Ethan Daw, and he uh, was a, uh, t a CPA, a tax person, uh, also speaking from the tax advantages uh, of life insurance and also down to uh, help helping people introduce themselves to life insurance also. And uh, it was really good. Now, it I missed really, that one. really good. I yep. missed that one. I missed that uh, session. So uh, help the average person here, not just an overview, but help the average person understand what are some of those tax advantages what are some of the strategies tax deferred tax exempt what yeah, is it might, about life insurance now we were you know? in the room when um a good friend of ours jason spoke jason fagan yeah love jason fagan yeah, okay so i, I might there. be mixing up uh ethan and jason because they were very closely related okay but uh for the good of the group out here the folks that are listening to us basically uh what they were talking about as far as it comes to tax advantages and uh and life insurance is where the u.s 
stands right now with the tax code? What are some of the uh, laws that have come into place, some of the other things that have changed in the last 10, 15, 20 years with the tax code, and what that means for the future? Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people uh, are going the future so uncertain, the future so uncertain. But most of the time, if you study the past, you can figure out a lot of what's going to happen in the future. Right. They say history repeats itself. I actually saw a really cool quote recently that says history does not repeat itself. People who do not study history repeat history. Oh, that's a good quote. Say it again for the people in the back. They said history does not repeat itself. They said people who do not study history repeat history. Okay, and, and went, oh, interesting. And I'm assuming <laughs> that means if you don't study history, that's a connotation of a negative thing. You should know history. So if you repeat history, it's getting worse. Yeah, you're going to mess something up. There you go. So anyway, what uh, specifically what he liked to talk about is just how certain life insurance is and how the money has paid out and you know generation, 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 hundreds of years, that sort of thing, and how in all these other accounts that we are. Uh, accustomed to using government sponsored specifically right uh that the tax like the tax implications look how it keeps changing over the time over years look how it keeps changing and i and i uh, i related to that because as i talk i don't i don't i'm not a cpa but as i look at the uh, tax code as i look at some other things i'm i resonate with that i go they can change the rules and mm -hmm. since they can change the rules like i should uh, I just don't want to play that game. Right. right? I don't right. want to be involved in the game where you can change the rules. Why don't I play the game where the rules are set? So let's remind everybody, when you're thinking about your legacy play, your long-term security, when it comes to finances, normally you're talking and thinking through taxable gains, which is going to be stock market, and or you're thinking through qualified plans. And that's not what life insurance is. Right. So when you're thinking through qualified plans, most of us are saving for the future in a qualified plan, and you really don't understand the investment risk that's going on with that. We have plenty of Jonah's opinion on the word saving and investing when it comes to qualified plans. You don't realize that life insurance doesn't play in that pool at all. There's a line down the middle between qualified and non-qualified, and non-qualified means there's no tax or there's tax exemptions or there's um, straight up tax uh, deferrals on some of the things that we're talking about with life insurance. So reminder on that, ladies and gentlemen, that when you decide to place money, pay, buy life insurance, there are non-taxable things that are going to be happening to your money with the guarantees. And the guarantees, of course, in whole life insurance is that it has to rise what you can realize in your life, take out, borrow against, withdraw, depending on how you're going to use your policy, mm -hmm. income tax freedom. No Uncle Sam to there reach in your pocket. Okay, so I went back and I found, I found the information. So for this particular company, they've been holding this event since 2019. Oh, 19. That was the was very it? first one. Okay. They had a uh, theme. You remember the theme? Of course, I remember the theme. Life is a buffet. No, that was not the theme. The theme was Go Fight Win. Oh, I, they kept playing the song Life is a Highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a bunch of candy on the table, so I kept saying, and they had a couple buffets, so Life is a Buffet, but yeah. Go Fight Win. Okay, I think I'm with you. So that was uh, 2019. In 2020, they did not have uh, this event. They actually did a uh, virtual. Nope, I don't believe you. This virtual, is, that wasn't the first one. That was the very we first went one. Two. We went two straight. So I that got, would have been 2018, I got, 19. I got receipts, man. 2019. 2019 okay for the first one all right 2020 no symposium no 2018 2019 we went twice we showed them the videos on the second one 2018 i don't think so okay. i'm pretty positive that i don't, know. I don't have receipts so i'm just out here it doesn't stuff. matter the cool part about going to the events is that you are able to learn from the peers so what i actually went and did is i went and i started thinking about one of my favorite uh quotes i kind of already gave one uh, it's not my favorite. It's one that I recently heard. But I did find mm -hmm. a quote recently about learning. I want to pose the question to you. Do you have a, a quote that you can think of about learning, about about making sure that you're not staying still? Being yeah, stagnant? Gandhi, of course. Gandhi said, live like today's your last. Learn like you'll live forever. 
Live like today is your last. I didn't learn say it. Like right. you'll yeah. live forever. But I mean, you I live today like it's your last day. You learn as if you're going to live forever. I like that. Yeah. I found one by B.B. King. <laughs> okay. B.B. Like King, King and Gandhi? King. Yes. No, no, Love I mean, it. I'm not trying to put, <laughs> put okay. those two people together. But B.B. Uh, King says, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. I love that. That's Viktor Frankl right there. The last thing that you can be taken that can be taken from you when he's in the Jewish concentration camps of the Nazi Auschwitz is um, your individual liberty, your mind, something. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Man's search for meaning. <clears throat> Well, before we jump into the events that are upcoming, right. which we want to invite you to, which we want to make sure that you understand kind of what type of event that we go to speak on, before we jump into that, what we should do is remind them about what we chatted about last episode. So if you're binge watching, uh, you probably just heard it or binge listening, right? But if you're not, if you're joining us for the first time on uh, YouTube, uh, you should know that the last time that we did one of these podcasts, we took a second and we talked about our comparison chart. So we compared uh, whole life insurance, infinite banking specific whole life insurance to some of the other plans and programs out there. Uh, Jermon, give us a little brief uh, rundown of that episode. Yeah, in that episode, we remind everybody that the typical savings or investment vehicles that you're using, uh, how they just stack up and compare against utilizing the save and spend system, infinite banking or whole life insurance. When you're talking about whole life insurance, most people don't realize the features that are inside of it, so they don't realize that it's the, the ideal asset. One of those things is principal protection, uh, principal protection guarantees um, the tax advantages compared to the other things you might be saving or stashing your cash in. So those things are really helpful to remember when you're considering why you would use life insurance to put your money to work. If you don't, then you're going to compare returns. And if you compare returns, you'll miss out on banking completely. There you go. I like it. Let's talk about some of the upcoming events. Well, for... before that, I got to talk about my favorite. All right, go ahead. My favorite at the symposium event we did huh. in Indiana was a guy who does a very similar type of uh, experience for his clients that we do, except they do real life experiences. We're not doing those yet and getting everybody together. And this guy is Ryan D. Lee. I think you guys should go find him actually and follow. He's got a lot of good content out there. So shout out to our friend uh, at the Ryan D. Lee on IG. And uh, he is t teaching people to rise up and live free. That's his motto out there. We got code cracking cash flow over here, but some of the things that they're doing to inspire people to live their fullest life and to reach their potential by securing their foundation in life insurance was really inspiring. I really enjoy when he speaks and he's a great communicator. What'd you think? Yeah, he was good. He was good. I, I really did enjoy it. But again, most importantly, I think it's, uh, it goes without saying that going to the events, making sure that you're present in the room, uh, listening to the other perspectives, listening to the other people and the way that they are reaching out, ministering to their folks, right, is a big deal. So that's uh, what, I, what I enjoyed. Just continue in your life, ladies and gents, to be around the people that inspire you to think better. If you can be around people that outthink you, then you're going to rise up and live free. Okay, shout out right now to our fan follow of the week. YouTube is where we like to go to find some of our newest subscribers. Remember, we're the Cash Compound at the YouTubes, and you are getting a shout out right now. High Ticket Coach, Larry Peacock. What's up, man? Appreciate you being out there. A digital and marketing business strategist. Love it. This is, uh, I guess, Jonah, did you pick him? This, I don't know who this is. I don't know if he's reached out to us in person yet. I didn't. It was uh, just a, a fan follow, so I think we randomly choose those from our social channels. But the cool thing about this uh, shout-out is, Larry, if you're watching, you've recently subscribed. So the idea behind this uh, is that maybe he's going to get the notification, right? Larry, if you're watching, please uh, send us a comment. Leave us a question on one of our videos, even this one, for instance, and we will jump back in and make sure that we like that thing, that we respond to you. And if we need to jump on uh, a call together to get you uh, some answers or walk through your questions, we'd be more than happy to do it. 
Now, Jonah, you said we are going to look toward the future. We're What's coming now? up next? Cool. So uh, we do lots of traveling around and speaking. So let's kind of uh, preface this section by saying sometimes we are invited to come speak in uh, the local area by even folks like you. We, uh, we don't have a really hard and fast rule, but generally the idea is if you can put a room of people together, a group of people together, and you want to introduce them to the infinite banking concept, we would be more than happy to make our way to where you are and to help you with that introduction. Now, the very next event that we're doing, which is happening in the month of October of 2024, is the Money Multiplier Mastermind. So this is going to be held in Nashville, Tennessee. What are the dates? October 10 through 12. We got Thursday night VIP dinner and Friday, Saturday. There you go. And we have uh, a big part in this one, actually. There's a couple of speaking sessions and uh, other some fun things, some games, some giveaways that we'll be uh, participating in. But let's uh, give the people uh, the little bit of a rundown. So I guess I've been to, man, uh, if I had to go back and count, I, I've got pictures, so I could go back and figure it out. But I but I think I've been to four. Well, we've been to, the thing is about the Money Multiplier Mastermind, those of you who are familiar with some of our partners of, over there in uh, this space, uh, you've heard us reference them. We've been partnered with them for a long time, but we were a part of things prior to the naming the Money Multiplier. Sure. So the first thing that we ever did was actually in Mexico Yeah, with them. And that was before, that was like, the name was brand new. Like, yep. I don't think people even knew what the name was at that point. So that's going to be 2017. Yep. 2017. So before Probably it was December called. December 2017. Yeah, I think. December yep. 2017. So that, was it called? I don't think it was called the Money <laughs> Multiplier Mastermind at no, that time. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, it was just called, y'all get your tickets. Come on down. We'll be by the pool. So uh, uh, since then, I've missed several, Jonah. So tell us what we can expect and what we have seen in the past. And uh, w then I'll give them a little agenda about what's coming this year. Yeah, so this event is specifically targeted at people who have infinite banking policies. And the idea of the event is to take you from a beginner in the infinite banking policy knowledge to a intermediate or an advanced in 48 hours. Let's right? go. And so what happens is in front of the room, you're going to hear from a few different speakers, all who practice infinite banking in a very strategic and specific way, which may or may not fit exactly what you want to do, right? So for instance, you might hear from a speaker that says, I love infinite banking and I use my infinite banking policies specifically for X, right? For investments, for real estate, for debt payoff, for flipping houses, for uh, retirement. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and how it has benefited me. Here are my policies. Here's where I started. Here's where I finished. And so it's really, really helpful if you fall into that boat. If you're sitting in the audience and you're going, oh my goodness, I want to use my policy to uh, flip houses also. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to show me what he started with, show me how he does it and show me where he's sitting at now. Well, now I've got a roadmap. Now I've got a roadmap to go home and go, I'm going to follow exactly what he just said because I'm looking for the same results. So that's the whole premise of the uh, event. Take you from a beginner to an intermediate or an advanced infinite banker really quickly. Now we have a special role in this year's events. I think there's going to be a fun VIP night and dinner day one that I'm going to be on the microphone for. And so come on out and get the VIP ticket. Of course, the link is going to be in the descriptions or wherever you find us here. Make sure you reach out and get your ticket. There are still seats available at the time of this recording, late September. And we're also bringing to the stage a new keynote. We are. We are. Jonah, tell them what it's called. It is called the F word. Use the F word. Use the F word. Jonah, now I grew up in a household where I did not use the F word. Nope. We spent cash. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Gotcha. Shame on you. It's finance. That is the F word. Use the F word. We're going to teach you how to finance everything you buy. It starts right here with Nelson Nash's quote. You finance everything you buy. You either give up the interest you could have earned or you pay someone to use their money. 
Okay, so financing is something you should be expanding your system around in everything you do. You should be using the word finance to control your capital. We're going to expand that for you. We're going to use the F word. Now, we got a little titillating, you know, title in there. We got some fun things planned in, in sure. this uh, keynote, and I think we're going to double team it. We're still trying to figure out all the pieces, but we're going to double team that keynote, right? think so. Okay. That's part of it. Uh, use the F word. So we're going to show you how to expand your banking system. Remember these, this is for people who've started. Most people out there, Jonah, actually, I think, limit themselves by thinking I use my policy for just this. But our keynote is going to say, what if all of your money ran through your banking system? Yeah. So your Netflix and your membership dues at the health club and your, um, recurring subscriptions that you have on your computer for your Google suite and your business expense. What if you expanded your banking system and you use the F word for everything? What is, how is that wind current? How is that cash flow? How is that recapturing whatever word you're using out there? How does that change your family's life and your business? If you expanded your system rather than just use it for flips. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. If you are in attendance, then you should learn something, hopefully, from our keynote. That's our objective. If you are not in attendance just yet, like Jeremiah mentioned, click the link in the bio, the link in the description, wherever you're looking or watching or uh, listening to us, click the description so you can get a ticket. We'd love to see you in Nashville, Tennessee for the Money Multiplier Mastermind. Now, there's a couple other speakers, though, Jonah. Tell us about some of the other people that you've worked with more closely in some ways than I have. There's a panel discussion. We've got the likes of Stephen Nagy, Chris Noggle, Brent Kessler, Hannah Kessler, some of those other people out there. Tell us uh, what do you think that they bring to the table. And uh, you're going to be on a panel with them, I think, on stage. So uh, tell us uh, you know, what we can uh, expect from these professionals. Yeah. Uh, well, first, the, and most importantly, I, in my opinion, you're gonna, uh, you should expect transparency about the policy use and exactly what's happening. A lot of people, uh, especially when you get into the infinite banking space, because the infinite banking policies are private, you hear theory a lot, mm. or you could do this, <coughs> or you can do that. Let me know how that goes. But you don't often get a lot of real life examples. Like I, I literally just did that. Right. And so that's one of the most fun things that I um, take away from the event is like learning how everyone is utilizing and using their policies. It's really cool. Um, <clears throat> there's also a section uh, that happened a few years ago where we saw uh, someone's family banking system, which was really cool. So they put every single policy up on the screen that their whole family had. And you could kind of walk through exactly what everybody was doing. Not only that, but they listed like where their policies started and where they were today. So it's also fun to see a policy system starting with one policy and, you know, to two thousand dollars of cash value and then fast forward and it's like 50 policies and millions of dollars of cash value right and that's really fun too so it really uh takes you from zero to hero it's gonna expand your mind but also encourage you to keep moving forward with your infinite banking journey and hopefully our talk about financing everything you purchase can get you there faster because again just like any conventional bank they make more money the more things that they can finance for other people, right? That's, That's how they it. do it. They make more money, the more things they can finance for other people. More loans they send out, the more money they make. So uh, you'll hear from a lot of other speakers. It'll be really, really fun. And uh, again, if you have not gotten your tickets yet, I'd love to see you there. Okay, ladies and gents, remember there are still calendar dates open and we want to have events with you in front of us in the room. So let us know if you want us to come towards you. We can do these virtually, of course, but uh, we like to travel actually and get in front of a, a group of eager people looking to take back control of their financial future. And so reach out to us when we're putting that family financial reunion or friend friendly financial forum together, whatever they are, we're there for you. Talk soon. Now 
If you're looking to learn more about the infinite banking concept, you can find out where we'll be next by going to thebankingbros.com forward slash events. In the month of October of 2024, not only will we be in Nashville, we'll also be in Los Angeles and even possibly down in Daytona Beach, Florida. We'd love to come where you are. And if you'd like to request our presence, you can do so at thebankingbros.com forward slash events.